With P.J. Tucker withdrawing from Team USA's roster because of an ankle injury, the roster is as weak as ever. One has to wonder what the next move for Team USA is. But before we get into that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications. You will not want to miss another decoup video, and that is facts. Time and time again, we've seen players leaving the Team USA roster, or players just flat out not accepting invites. Blazers guard CJ McCollum declined his invite, and after doing so, he decided to drop a little knowledge on us. He said, I think other guys looked at it like, why would I go and potentially be the face of a losing roster? Or the workload part. If everybody plays, all the workload is less. 20, 25 minutes, you get a lot of blowouts, you're moving on. A lot of guys don't play, your minutes might go up, your usage might go up. And that affects your summer as you go into March when that crash comes. He said January is where that crash comes before the All-Star break. And then after the All-Star break, guys start to break down in March and April. Those extra miles in those summertime hours. I've led the league in miles close to it every year. And he talks a little more in depth about it, but nothing too serious. If all these guys are uninterested in being on the roster, it just makes you wonder, why is this one guy that could save Team USA, why is this one guy not getting accepted onto the roster? Carmelo Anthony actually reached out to Team USA. Keep in mind, Carmelo knows of all of these guys declining. Carmelo knows what it takes to win on a Team USA roster. I talked about this a little bit in my video where I discussed Team USA losing to the G League team. While it has some talent on it, it should never put up a fight against a Team USA team. PJ Tucker also talked a little bit about why they lost to that G League team. He said they've been playing basketball for two hours, they were under extreme conditioning, and you know, he gave a lot of excuses. But to me, I think if you're an NBA player, I think if you're on Team USA, I think even though the G League players are hungry, I think at the end of the day, I think it still shouldn't be a match. But of course, that's easy to say from the outside looking in, and I'm sure PJ Tucker knows more about the situation than me, so we'll just have to take PJ's word for this one. But for me, I'm just not understanding why Carmelo Anthony is not getting the chance that he has earned over the years. You can talk about Carmelo Anthony being blackballed from the NBA. Yes, that's a serious and ongoing issue. Why teams don't want to sign Melo is absolutely beyond me. The guy has came out and said that his old ways are behind him, whatever his old ways are. Teams and media personalities around the league have kind of gave Melo this bad rap. You saw him get scapegoated in Houston. You saw him be the fall guy for a failing Oklahoma City team. It may just be my opinion, but I don't think Carmelo Anthony deserves to go out the way that he is currently going out. I think he still has a lot of basketball left in him. And again, I think he can be a prominent figure on Team USA. Team USA, while still being pretty talented and among the better teams in the world, they just don't have a guy outside of Kimber Walker that is that glorified closer, a guy that has been in the moment multiple times. They don't have a guy, actually, that has excelled on the international stage. They don't have a guy whose international accolades can touch Carmelo Anthony's. If you watch Carmelo Anthony play, when he was playing with LeBron James, when he was playing with Kobe Bryant, when he was playing with some of the best players of all time in our generation, he was one of the most selfless players on that team. And he was effective while doing it. He was also arguably the best. Carmelo Anthony was not a guy that demanded the ball. He was not a guy that had to touch the ball 30 times a game for Team USA to be successful. And you can argue while he may not be the same player that he was while he was younger. He can still bring a lot of energy. He can still bring a lot of knowledge. He can still bring a ton to this team that is so lacking in experience. I'm not an NBA player. I'm not a rocket scientist, but I don't think you have to be either of these to figure out that winning on the international level and winning on the NBA level are entirely two different things. No offense, but I also think Team USA has made some of the wrong roster moves. Not having Bam Adebayo on the roster at any cost, I don't know what the reason is. That's a guy that should be playing without a doubt in my mind. Bam Adebayo would by far be the most athletic big in the whole FIBA tournament. I don't even know all of the bigs, okay, outside of Giannis and outside of maybe a few other guys, Bam would definitely be one of the elite bigs. Jerry Colangelo said that Carmelo Anthony could be a distraction. That was part of the reason for turning down Carmelo Anthony. I think Jerry Colangelo would have did better not dropping a reason at all. Nobody's going to be talking about Carmelo Anthony. These other teams, they don't care. What is Carmelo going to bring to the team that's a distraction? As a matter of fact, most players still have mad respect for Carmelo Anthony. Kyle Kuzma said he's still better than half of the league today. 
It's just not adding up in my head. And with PJ Tucker going down, another player such as Carmelo Anthony that can play multiple positions, it just makes too much sense. Again, guys, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You will not want to miss another Deku video. And let me know what you guys think about Carmelo Anthony currently not being on the national team. I'm Deku, guys, and I'm out.